welcome to this class today we are going to balance this reaction this is lead hydroxide this is hydrochloric acid this is water and this is lead chloride okay to balance this reaction at first we have to draw a table like this this is reactant site and this is product site so in the reactant site we have here lead one then we have which which is two look here in the left hand side we have which which is a polyatomic ion but in the right hand side we don't have which so but we have water and we can rewrite this water as h which however so which here too then we have hydrogen which is one and then here we have chlorine right here chlorine is one then in the right hand side we have hydrogen in water which is one then we have which which is also one then we have lead one then we have chlorine which is two so to balance this reaction means we have to balance the number of lead hydroxide hydrogen and chlorine on both side of this reaction so lead here one but here one so we have nothing to do hydroxide here two but here one so to balance the hydroxide what can i do i can multiply here by two that gives me two the rule is that if you multiply by something that something must come before the atom or group so these two will go here if you place here two the number of hydrogen will be two so you have to update the number of hydrogen and the number of hydroxide is already two so look here hydrogen two but here one so to balance the hydrogen what can i do i can multiply here by two that gives me two and these two must come before this hydrogen and this hydrogen has come from here so you have to place here two if you place here two the number of chlorine will be two so you have to update the number of chlorine now look lead one one hydroxide two two hydrogen two two chlorine two two so everything is balanced balanced so you can say that this is the balanced chemical reaction right so i can sh at last you can change this water as normal i used to oh right so this is the balanced chemical reaction right i can show you the second way to balance this reaction so let me show so at first let me clear here right okay let me clear everything okay okay everything has cleared right so look here we have to clear this and clear this so look in the left hand side we have lead right here one then we have here oxygen so look we will write separately right we have here oxygen which is two then we have hydrogen which is two then here in acl we have hydrogen so i can write here more one hydrogen that gives me three then we have chlorine which is one in the right hand side we have lead look here we have hydrogen which is look okay let me clear right everything clear this will help us 
so here we have hydrogen so which is 2 then here we have oxygen which is 1 and here we have lead which is lead which is 1 then we have chlorine which is 2 so to balance this reaction means we have to balance the number of lead oxygen hydrogen and chlorine from both side of this reaction so look lead 1 1 but here oxygen is 2 but here 1 okay to balance the oxygen what can i do i can simply multiply here by 2 that gives me 2 these two must come before this oxygen right that is here if you place here 2 the number of hydrogen will be 4 so let me update the number of hydrogen 4 the number of oxygen is 2 already we have written so now look here hydrogen is 3 but here 4 okay let me balance hydrogen last so here chlorine is 1 but here 2 so to balance the chlorine what can i do i can multiply here by 2 that gives me 2 and the, and these two must come before this chlorine so this chlorine has come from here so look if you place here 2 the number of hydrogen will be changed so here you have to change 2 right so 2 plus 2 that gives me 4 hydrogen right and the number of chlorine is 2 already we have written so look one lead one lead two oxygen two oxygen four hydrogen four hydrogen two chlorine two chlorine so everything is balanced so you can say that this is the balanced chemical reaction so thank you for being this video be well